Hey everybody, Chris Sev with Sourcegraph here. And in this video, I am very excited to announce that we are introducing Smart Apply in Kodi. Now we've been talking about being CHOP developers, chat-oriented programmers. And this Smart Apply feature gets us one step closer to that CHOP experience. So let me show you how it works. In VS Code here, I have this repo selector component. Normally, you would open up Kodi, and you would highlight some code, and you would start chatting with it. And you would say, add TypeScript types here. All right, Kodi says, uh, using Claude and using the context that it has, I'd be happy to add TypeScript types. And it goes ahead and does this. And oh, I want to chat a little bit more. I don't think it got the right repos string. So let's say repos is an array of objects. Can you find the signature for repos? And we're chatting here with Cody. We're being chop developers. Here we go. Yep, it found it. Name and ID are correct. So what I would normally do is copy this, go over here and kind of select where I wanted to paste it in and paste it in. But we have this new button, Smart Apply. If you click this button, it just takes whatever is in your chat and says, oh, let me go find the perfect place to place this. And there we go. You can see that right here, we have our types added to this repo selector component. And I can click accept here or reject. And I can also click accept or reject over here on the left, right above where the code snippet is. I'll go ahead and click accept here. It updates in both places. And now just like that, I just chatted with Cody. I clicked one button and all of those code changes applied to my code. This gets us closer to that chop programming paradigm that we love so much. Let me go down further and see if there's a better example at a little bit more of a complex scenario. All right, repo selector form here. I have this use effect. I have a search for repos function and I'm doing an await fetch, but I'm not doing any error handling. That's a no-no. Let's ask Cody to help us out. I'm gonna open up chat again. I'm gonna do a new chat and I'm gonna highlight all of this code here and I'm gonna go up further right there and say, help me add error handling, please. Gotta be nice to the AI. All right, it's gonna go search for context, which in this case is this selection that I have. Certainly I'd be happy to help. Thank you, Claude. It adds the error state variable here. It adds the try catch that I expected. Try catch, it sets the error here. Okay, that looks great. I don't have to chat any further. All I have to do is click apply. And as Cody is going to go ahead and apply, finds the right spot, works through all of those to get us the correct diff. And notice there's a couple different places where this diff takes place. There's this error state here. Down here, it does the try catch. And the cool thing about the smart apply feature is that you can pick and choose what sections that you want to accept. So here, there's an accept and reject button over this diff. There's an accept or reject button over this diff. There's accept all, reject all, and then over here in the chat, there's also accept and reject. So there's multiple different ways to interact with smart apply. I'm going to accept each one individually so we can review each specific one. I'm gonna say accept here, I like that use state. And then down here, it's just wrapping with the try catch and using the set error correctly to reset and then set error if the error exists after we do the fetch, I'll click accept. All right, that looks great there. So all in all, this apply button, try it in your code, especially when you're chatting with Cody a few times, this is a great way to one click apply, especially if you have like multiple places where you need to copy and paste code, you need to kind of understand all of the changes that Cody is asking to do. Just click the button and have Cody do the work for you. All right, happy chopping. See you next time.